Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Ali and in this video, we're going to go over trending transitions part two. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can have multiple scenes on your screen and transition from your main screen onto the rest of the scenes. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Now I'm going to go over um, the group to show you exactly what that looks like before I go inside and show you the steps. Uh, so this is basically how it looks like. Now this is my main scene and then I'm going to use my keyframes to transition and have this scale down to show me the rest of the seven scenes that I created. So in total, I have eight scenes. So once I move my playhead right here, you can see that it scales down and then I can see the rest of the other scenes right here. Again, total of seven scenes around my main scene. So let me sh uh, go inside my group and show you exactly uh, what that looks like from the inside and the steps that I've taken to make this happen. So at the very beginning, what I did is I added my main scene right here. This is a mask scene because I wanted to have my um, astronaut character to come from the bottom to the top, fly out on a rocket um, and, th and then go outside of my scene. And so what I use as my keyframes here is I use scale to scale this down from full screen into a smaller scene so that I can start seeing uh, the rest of the other scenes that, that you can see in here. And so the way how I started, you know, the other seven scenes is I put them around the canvas, you know, part of them are visible and some parts are invisible outside the canvas. So again, these are, uh, this is how I put the, all the scenes around my main scene. And then I used uh, my keyframes to add position to the entire scenes um, and, make, and then make sure that all the keyframes you can see here on all seven scenes, they're exactly the same match, same duration. So let me get this back again and show you one more time. So again, this is how I did it. I added the you know keyframes or custom animation for all my uh, seven scenes, position to get them to move from where they are or from the starting point around the main scene to get a little bit closer when my main scene uh, scales down, as you can see. So you have two ways in order for you to achieve this effect. You can either use custom animation to apply this. So your custom animations would be for the main scene as scale in order for you to scale down from this, from having your uh, scene number one as the main, uh, main scene and showing up in full screen. And then it scales down to start seeing the rest of the scenes when you add custom animation. And that would be positioned to get all of those scenes, you know, a little bit closer to scene number one. Now I'm gonna go back again to to this group to show you exactly what that looks like from the outside one more time and just you know show you this the, that was pretty easy to do so again we have this as our main scene right here and then once I start uh, playing or moving my playhead okay this is what happens my scene starts to scale down and then the rest of the scenes um, starts to move from um, outside of the canvas uh, you know closer to my main scene giving me multiple scenes on my screen so i hope you found this helpful uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video